Fuck you, networks. <laughs> Amazon Prime allows you two-day free shipping, access to the Prime Pantry, and much, much more. I personally use Amazon for nearly all my shopping, so Prime helps me get it faster and allows me to have more options. Check the link out in the description to learn more. Hey guys, so my name is Joe Wolfboy, and if you're new to this channel due to just finding this video off of a search, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button because this video is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, or I guess I should say it is the iceberg. Like, if you've been following me on my channel and on my Twitter feed, I absolutely hate networks. And I don't know if they hate me or if it's just because I'm... I'm done with networks, okay? <laughs> So until a network approaches me, I'm not going to apply for one. So say what you will, um, I was a part of the Freedom Network. I'm still technically considered a part of the Freedom Network because um, I'm still allowed to use position and epidemic music for free. Um, there's nothing, there's no contract breaking that I've seen. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah. This is completely unscripted, so I am sorry for the ums and the uhs. So. Let's get down to, like, saying why I hate networks. So let me go ahead and pull up the email that Maker sent me. Maker, one of the biggest networks that does Captain Sparkles, Syndicate... I believe they also do Vintage Beef and even Markiplier. So let me pull up the email that they sent me. And blow this up for you a little bit. Sorry if you can't really see it. So essentially what it says is, Hello Joe, thank you for your interest in partnering with Maker Studios. We have reviewed your channel for partnership eligibility and discovered the following factors that may be likely prohibiting you from applying at this time. Keep in mind, let me pull this down real fast um oh there we go and pull this down okay so keep in mind that i have also successfully applied to maker i've already put in my application and they said that i was successfully accepted so let's keep this in mind all right continuing on um the first thing that they mention is re-uploaded material as far as audio as far as the audio so I thought, oh, hey, I may have uploaded a couple things, but here's the thing. Whenever I upload something, it gets flagged. Like if it's not uh, copyright free or um, what's the actual word? Um, royalty free. If it's not royalty free, then it's still like it always flags me. Because I'm not a famous YouTuber like Markiplier or whatever. So. Okay, let's, let's keep going here. Next one that they say is even more stupid. Video game content. According to YouTube, video game content may be modernized depending on the commercial usage rights granted by uh, granted to you by licenses of the video game publishers gameplay content that incorporates commentary over the entire duration of the video step-by-step -step commentary that is strictly tied to the live action being shown and muted game audio reduces the risk of liability for copyright infringement okay so, and then they present, they keep presenting saying, um, you need to contact these people via this and, um, so that you can see what you can do about that. So let me go back to just my face for a little bit. First of all, I was told exclusively by an EA representative, and I even talked to Microsoft about this shit. Who now owns Mojang. Or Mojang. However you want to say it. 
I actually talked to a Swedish person and it's pronounced Mojang. Get it right, people. It's Mojang. Alright. So besides it being called Mojang instead of Mojang. Both of the companies stated blatantly that in their end user license agreement, as long as you give credit to the game or it is distinctively available that the game is what it is. And Minecraft, how do you tell that Minecraft isn't Minecraft? I mean, obviously, with the new Minecraft story mode, there's not much of a difference. I believe there's a mod for Gary's Mod that allows it to look like Minecraft. But still. So I contact EA. Because this is where they're, all the links for the YouTube videos, that's where they were. That's what they were complaining about. Was my content for... Um, I believe it was Mass Effect 2 because I never uploaded any commentary to it because it was stupid. I didn't want to upload commentary. It was for the story value. And if you like that, check it up over here in the little eye. See that series for what it is. See it as story content. It is not meant to be talked over. So, after getting off the phone with EA, and after getting off the phone with Microsoft, who both think I'm idiots, they agreed that yes, Maker was in the wrong here. I am not doing anything wrong, yet Maker says that I am. So when it comes down to it, let me throw this at you, Maker, if you happen to be watching this video, which I know you aren't, or maybe if you're Someone like Markiplier with some magical influence over Maker. Maybe you can tell them to open their fucking eyes. Oops, my bad, a fucking bad word. But I don't care. Because this channel is meant for you guys. I make this channel because of you guys. You guys keep coming back. I don't know how many of you guys there are, but I know there is at least three or four views on every video, so I make it for you guys. I make it for those three or four views. And because I enjoy it. Sure, making money on the side would be amazing, because I'm a poor college student. See, Maker doesn't care about that. Asafin doesn't care about that. All they care about is that you're perfect and there's not one rule broken. But let me tell you this. Captain Sparkles, Syndicate, uh, Vintage Beef, even fucking Mark, have all uploaded content that are video game plays. Fuck, even PewDiePie did it. Were there video game playthroughs that have no commentary? They're just game thing. Like, they're just game plays. You can hear the audio. There's... And it just pisses me off that just because I have a small community, I'm shit on by networks. So if you're out there, yes, I'm talking to you, the aspiring YouTuber. Don't join a fucking network. Wait until you have a million fucking subscribers and then smack all the fuck out of every single network. Because you know what? You are better than every single one of them. You can make content that blows every single one of them away. You can blow Markiplier, you can blow PewDiePie, you can blow them all out of the water if you try. But what these companies are doing is limiting content creators like you and I. Limiting us so that we can't upload. Well, we can upload but we don't get the priority. There's this thing that was actually going around the internet called net neutrality. I thought we were done with this. The FCC's done. They aren't gonna sell it to these companies to get special rights. No, no, it's... The bottom line is, 
In conclusion, if you want to join a network, don't. Do not join a network no matter what, unless they ask you to. If a network approaches you, think about it. Sit on it until the very day before the deadline. Because as soon as you sign that contract, you are locked in permanently into a cycle that never ends. They offer you a little bit more money for a couple more ads that you have to put on your channel. And then all of a sudden, you're just ads everywhere. You don't care about your content anymore, you just want money. I mean, look at PewDiePie. And sure, PewDiePie haters are gonna dislike this video, but I don't care. Because you know what? It's people like these fucks, like Maker, and like Freedom, that piss on us, call us insignificant. Yet when we rise, create our own networks, create our own MCNs, create our own channels that blow them all away. When we do that, and they ask for our help. We'll say, do you remember us? Do you remember the people you pissed on? Yeah, that's right. I'm that guy you pissed on. I'm that guy you pissed off. So go piss off. And yes, I'm talking to you, Freedom. Yes, I'm talking to you, Maker. Yes, I'm talking to every god damn network out there. Go to hell. We don't want you. We want ourselves. We want creative freedom. God damn it. <laughs> so, if you like this video, be sure to smack the like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Um, if you possibly want to see more video content be sure to subscribe down below and click the eye up in the little corner up here ha click a little eye up in the corner um see more content uh it's called card apparently um but yeah click the little eye up in the corner and i'm sure that something will happen magical fairies and unicorns but also if you like this video be sure to Share it with your friends, you know, all that shabam. Tell me in the comments below what you think about the situation, how networks are kind of just shitting all over us. Um, and even if you think that I'm in the wrong and that I'm actually doing shit wrong, and please tell me. Because throughout the whole end user license agreement that I've read four times now, I haven't found anything. So if you do happen to like this video, my videos all in general, be sure to consider supporting us by buying a cool t-shirt, unlike this one, by donating directly to us, by changing your eBay, Amazon, and Newey links to ones with our affiliate codes. Because that's awesome, and you guys are awesome. So keep staying awesome. Because the networks are going to make you not be awesome. So as always, I want to thank you all for watching. Again, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.